What is up guys, it's Dr. GTA and I'm coming to you with another tutorial today and this is for the GTA 5 PC mod for the Vice City converted map and for those of you having problems this map tutorial is going to get you all installed and get you loading cars and driving and using the trainer in the Vice City map for GTA 5 on PC. So hit like because we're about to get into this map tutorial. Okay, now first off, you're obviously going to have to need GTA 5 installed and working on your system. You can have the Steam version, or the Social Club version, or the Rockstar uh, Warehouse version, it doesn't really matter. Once you have that installed and it's already running on your on your uh, computer, you're going to go to uh, your um, Internet Explorer or whatever, and you're going to go over to 5M, which the link is in the description, 5M.net, and you're going to download the new... Um, the one at the very top it says available version once you're done downloading it you're going to extract those to your desktop you need WinRare so if you don't have WinRare you're going to have to download that I'm not going to provide you with that but you can find it W-I-N-R-E-R -E just download it somewhere and install it and it should open those RAR files once you extract this you're done here and then you need to go navigate to the Vice City map which is the link is right here for the official one the best one and you have two options you can download the the map from Mega if you're in Europe or 5 mods if you're in US. I recommend US for 5 mods and Mega for Europeans. And you have optional uh, high quality textures if you have a good CPU. So we're going to do all of this. We're going to install the one from GTA 5 mods and the Mega. Um, so you're going to go download Vice City 1.0 and it's going to download. And then you're going to download the HQ generic YTD textures. Now, there's another thing you can use, which is a trainer. I'll link this in the description as well. Um, you're going to need, in, or, in order to get the cars to spawn using the trainer, because no cars will spawn on the map, you're going to need, and plus you're, in order to get on the map, you're going to need a teleport. You're going to need a trainer, and you're going to need it working with the spawn cars. The spawn cars feature doesn't work unless you have a retail EXE, but I'll put that in the description as well for the retail um, version of the game's... Uh, GTA 5 launcher. Alright, now once you get the high quality texture, you're going to extract the generic YTD to your desktop and you click OK, and that's done with that. And uh, I guess while we're waiting, we can go find the retail EXE. I know I was just on it earlier. I think this might be it. This maybe will be it. And that's not it. And here it is right here. This is the 5 patch and you're going to download that. Now once you get Vice City 5M downloaded, you're going to take the user maps and you're going to extract it to your desktop. It's going to take a little bit, so we'll give it a second. And downloading this patch is going to take a little bit too, because it's 350 megabytes. All right. After this is done downloading and your GTA Vice City 5M is done extracting, you can you can exit out of the 5M RAR, and then um, you can go and go to your desktop and we can start figuring everything out. Now if you want to use high quality textures you're going to take this generic YTD and you're going to cut it and you're going to put it in the user maps folder VC and then in VC again twice. Right click paste it's going to overwrite the original see it's a 9 megabyte file over a 0.9 megabyte which is going to overwrite it and give it better quality and that's your actual map right there and then what you're going to have to do is right click and make a new folder name it 5m and I would recommend putting 5m.exe in the 5m folder and citizensfx.ini in the 5m folder as well. You're going to go in there, right click on the exe, go to properties, go to wherever you have compatibility if you're Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, whatever. Make sure the privilege level is set to run as administration, apply it and click OK. Um, once you're done with that, you go back to your desktop so you already have your 5m ready to go and your user maps. You're going to take your user maps and drag it into your 5m folder so it's like so and that's how it should look 5m user maps VC VC that's how it should look once you've got that you're pretty much done with the whole installation feature now all you need to do is get your patch and copy these two files but I've already done it and basically extract them to your desktop I'm, I'm not doing the update RPF because I've already done it 
and once you get it onto your desktop you're going to cut it and you're going to go to wherever your GTA 5 directory is installed you're going to right click and you're going to paste it in here and you're going to overwrite the file but I would recommend before you do this warning I would recommend taking this file and dragging it somewhere where you can keep a backup of it somewhere so you can keep it because this one is the one for your steam version if you don't have the steam version if you have the steam version if you don't then you already already using the right retail exe obviously so you don't need to do this but if you're not i recommend making a backup of your steam exe then you're going to paste it overwrite and then obviously you're going to paste the update rpf which goes in the update folder right here and you're going to paste it right here and you're going to overwrite this rpf now once you're done with that you're going to go into your 5m folder you can close out your internet browser or whatever and then you're going to right click on 5m and you're going to run as run it as administrator it's going to ask you a couple things it's going to download some updates and is actually going to ask you where your gta 5 folder is mine's not doing it because i've already done it or it might actually do it once it's done installing but most of the time it will ask you where your gta5.exe is so you're going to have to navigate to that folder which if you have steam it's going to be program files x86 steam steam apps common grand theft auto 5 and then you're going to select the gta5.exe which is right here and once you're done with that all you have to do is wait for this to load and it might take a little longer depending on what you're using um, I recommend just be patient because it will load. Once it loads, it might crash when you load in the first time because after this downloads, it's going to launch. Um, and it might crash the first time, but if it does, then don't worry about it. Okay, so now it's asking you where your GTA 5 EXE is. Select the folder containing GTA 5.exe. So you have to do it again. Local disk C is where all my program files are at. x86, Steam, Steam Apps. common grant the thought of five and it's right in here and select the folder it's not going to show up it's not going to show up the name you just have to know that that's the root and once you're done with that all you have to do is do that and it'll select the option and it'll work once that's done you have successfully installed and completed the task of fixing it now what it's going to do if you can still see my screen it's loading up by itself it might take a little bit longer but once it loads up it'll load up into the game and now it's loaded into the game. Once you get into the game, it's going to show you a menu. I would recommend if you are using Steam, I would recommend you make sure your firewall um, is actually um, allowing this first the first time because um, it might crash. So I make sure I would Alt Tab out and make sure it allows it. And I would recommend you have Steam open. I would make sure you have Steam loaded up and open before you launch the 5M because sometimes it might not load if you have Steam or not. Um, and then once you do, then you actually can exit out of this little thing, you're done with that. Go back into here and it'll load up and it's going to say a couple things like your Steam account and stuff like that. It might actually ask you to log into it. So if it does log into it, that's completely fine. Um, it looks like mine, mine has crashed, I think, possibly. Yeah, mine has crashed. So basically what I'm going to do is just end it really quickly because it's being annoying with me. And then it's going to work now. So, okay. I'm ending the task. Ugh. So sometimes it crashes on the first time. Mine always crashed. But once that crashes and gets out of the way the first time, you can go back and just go back to that folder where your 5M is at. And that's how you are going to launch it. Now just run it again. And it's going to launch into the game. Once it launches into the game, it's going to... Um, bring up that menu and that's where we're going to load up everything now in order to load up everything you're going to have to hit the button to the left of your number one key and above your tab and it's going to open up your console every time you hit that button it'll open it and close it so if you want to know how to do that so once you have it open you're going to type in it doesn't matter what caps or not it just only matters if you type the same alpha characters and spaces you're going to type in invoke dash which is uh, the dash to the right of the zero sign and to the left of the equal sign on a regular keyboard level load space vc 
Once you hit enter, it's going to immediately say initializing social club and go to the loading screen. That's how you know it worked. So once you've done that, you can click the uh, console little bolt colon button to the left of the number one and above the tab, and it'll close it. All you have to do is wait and you'll spawn, and I'm actually spawned in. And yeah, that's pretty much how you install it. Now, if you actually want to get this trainer that I'm using, which you push F4 to load the trainer, um, I'm not using the trainer right now, but um, if you want to use the trainer, you will have to um, basically go back to, let's exit out of it real quick. Okay, now um, if you want to install the trainer, you have to download the link in the description. And then um, what you're going to do is you're going to go download it. And once you get it downloaded, you're going to go to your plugins folder. And there's this copy of this right here, copying that GML hacks. It's going to go in your plugins. So you go to your 5M folder and um, you're going to make a plugins folder if there's not already one there. Name it plugins. Paste it in there. And now we're going to go run the game and make sure it works just to verify because I haven't really done this part yet, but um, it might work as well. So we're going to load back in and we're going to load it in the exact same way we just did. Um, oh my god. Okay, there we go. Alright, now we load in. If you push F4, you should have a trainer completely working. All you have to do is use F4 to open and close the trainer. I'd recommend using the trainer because you can die. It makes yourself invincible before you uh, get in the game and also you can fix your player's skin model, you can reset the current skin, and you can go teleport to uh, teleport to the safe house. Franklin safe house is probably the best to start because it's going to spawn you around the ocean beach. And then you can also, if you use the retail EXE, like I showed you to, to install in the GTA 5 folder, then you can spawn vehicles. You cannot spawn vehicles unless you have that EXE installed. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If the video helped you in any way, make sure to hit like on it and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.